Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the double exposure effect in Photoshop. Before I get started, I just want to say that you do not need Photoshop for this tutorial. Any alternative that's free can work as long as it's able to cut an object out of a background. So don't think you need an expensive software like Photoshop in order to accomplish this very simple effect. If you check the link in the description, there's a bunch of alternatives that you can check out. But yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing you want to do is find at least two images. You can add more, but sometimes less is more. So be careful what you choose. Sometimes keeping it very simple probably looks the best with this effect. One of the images has to be an object. So something like a portrait or or maybe your hand or maybe like a cup something has to be the object and then something has to be the background something with depth usually people use clouds for this effect because it looks really cool because there's a lot of swirls in them and a lot of depth right or people use a city landscape and i'm doing that for this tutorial because it looks really nice you can see the buildings and i think it'll complement this look so to place the images you want to press file place and yeah so the first thing you want to do is hide this layer and you want to work on the object layer and you can do two things you can use the pen tool or you can use the quick selection or magic wand tool right now we're going to cut out the object from the background because we won't be needing the background we're going to delete it and make a white background so you can either just click on the quick selection tool and just you know drag over this right here which is probably faster but it isn't as precise so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the pen tool instead and i'm going to fast forward this part Okay, so now that I'm done creating all the points, I want to right click and press make selection. If you use the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool, it's already selected. For the feather radius, you want to set it at 0 0.5 so there's no hard edges. And then you want to press OK and you want to copy and paste. So press Control C and Control V. And then you want to hide. And then now you want to delete this layer right here. And now you have a layer that only has the object. Now make a new layer, move it underneath this layer. So the one with the object and make this white. So you can press Alt Backspace for this and then it'll create a white background. You first have to select white as the color first or what you can do is press on this right here and then select solid color and select white so the next thing you want to do is depending on the colors of the two images you selected you want to make this black and white the object if the background and the object have similar colors you don't have to worry about that so i won't be worrying about that but i'll show you how it looks like with black and white and basically all you do is now you click on the background there and you press screen right here and that's it so press ctrl t and you just want to move it around to see what it looks best at so like something like that that might look good and that's basically it the reason i didn't make this black and white is because the city has blue elements to it and the sweater is blue right here so it would look really good but if you did want to make it black and white you could just press right here and make it black and white sometimes this makes it look a lot better because of the color contrast but if you wanted to make the entire thing black and white including the background right here what you can do is press on this and then press on gradient map and then select black and white right here i think this is the best black and white you can get if you just press right here it looks different you can see the difference this is a little bit more aggressive with more contrast you can also use the gradient maps to kind of experiment with different colors so if you want to like this this looks really cool you could do that so press ok if you wanted the background gone you can just like press soft light right here and then it'll apply to the two layers right here i think if you erase kind of the edges right here so the sides where it kind of starts it kind of looks better because it kind of fades in instead of just being there so you would want to do this to the background layer so the city layer right here and you can adjust everything so it looks perfect so something like this maybe adjust the vibrance and saturation and if you ever want to you can always just erase this part like if it's on his face or something covering an important part you can just erase it and there's no issue with that so you can see that i think it looks better if it's just like that but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video hopefully it helped you out my name is steven and i'll see you in the next Thanks. Okay. You were never right.